Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we will design the Simba part in FreeCAD step by step. And as you can see in this drawing, we have all we need to to design this part in FreeCAD. So let's do that. Click on the file, clicking on this icon. Go to Part Design Workbench. Create body. Create sketch in create the sketch in YZ plane. In this first sketch, draw a cycle. Pick this command cycle. Draw a cycle of eight millimeters, and the part of the cycle will be is five. So pick this command. Give the cycle a diameter of 8, enter, close the sketch, press home, go to model, select this sketch, select pet command, and change the length to 5, click OK, and now select this face, and create a new sketch. Use this circle command to draw a circle. The circle has a diameter of 10 and the distance between this, the center of this circle to the region is 10. So, so the diameter of this circle is 10. And the distance between these point to the center of the circle is okay. Close the sketch, click this icon, this pocket command, click OK, and now we have this pocket. So now what we have to do is to select this pocket, this this operation, and go to Polar pattern common, and now we change the number of occurrence to four, and click OK, and now we have these four pockets. And the next step is to create this part. But to create this part here, we will need two sketches. The first sketch will be the path. And the second sketch will be the object to swap along the first sketch. So create a new sketch. Create the new sketch in X plane. Click this icon to switch to section view. And now pick this polar line command and draw this sketch. Press M three times and press M two times and now tangent constraint in this in this line in this arc. Okay, and now let's give dimensions to this sketch. Okay, so Pick this command and say that the distance between this point to this point is 6. And the horizontal distance is, is 100. Okay. And the radius of this arc is 4. So as you can see in this image, we have a arc of foot of radius and one hundred and six. So close the sketch, press on, and now let's do the, the second sketch. Click this icon and now choose the YZ plane. Switch to section view by clicking this icon. 
if the sketch will draw a circle, if the circle command and draw this circle, this circle has have a diameter of 40. So let's give the circle a diameter of 40. Select this command. Okay. Close the sketch. Press home. And now select the let's sketch this sketch here and go to this command this additive pipe and go to path to shape along and click object and select this first sketch and click OK. So now we have this part here. So the next step is to draw this part here. So let's do that. Select this face, click on your sketch, and now let's start this. Let's extract this edge, click in this icon, select this edge, and now select the cycle command and draw this sketch. Now is the line command. Okay, what we have to do now is to do some trims in this sketch. So select the trim command, this command, click this icon and trim this this line mm -hmm. and now click ask delete these lines delete this line and now let's do some constraints to sketch so select this icon, tangent constraint, this arc and this line. And now let's able some always missing these lines so select again this icon okay we have some problems here select trim command and trim this line so now let's able some equal constraints select this icon and you'll see that this arc is equal to this arc this circle and this circle will be equal and this this arc and this arc is equal this line equals to this line this line equals to this line and this line equals to this line Select these two points and able a constant constraint here too. Okay, so now what we have to do is to is to give dimensions. But but before that, uh, click this command and say that this point. And this point is symmetrical to this line here. And let's say that let's constrain this point and this point, horizontal constraint. So yes, 
And now let's give dimensions to the arcs and circles. So pick this command. The diameter of the circle is 10. And, and the radius of this arc is 0.5. The radius of this arc here is 15. And the distance between the circle is 60. As you can see, we have these dimensions. So we finalized the, the sketch. The sketch is fully constrained. So close the sketch. And now go to add comment and give it a length of 5 ok and check this, check this option, reverse it click ok and now we have this part what is missing is to do this is to do this pocket to do this pocket we will use the same sketches so go here So to do the pocket, we will need the two sketches. Go to this this pipe here, click here, and now select these two sketches and copy these two sketches and click on mouse. Go to copy. Press OK. And now pass the sketches here. Click this icon, select these two sketches and drag it to the bottom. Make these two sketches visible. So to have this pocket, what we need to do is to only change the diameter of this cycle. We'll change the diameter of the cycle to this no, no, this dimension so let's do that select this sketch double click switch to section view and change this diameter to till and now close the sketch and again let's go to this command to a subjective pipe and go to path to swap along and click object and now go to model and select this sketch this is a sketch go to tasks and click ok so yes yeah, so we finalized the design of this model if you like the video please give a like and subscribe so thank you to watch this video.